Someone will be looking for you. He put Corduroy up on the ledge behind the drums. There was a chair off to one side behind the curtain. I could see better from there, thought Corduroy. But before he got to the chair, a stagehand tripped on him. Sorry, Bear, said the stagehand. He put Corduroy on the table with the other props. The table was hard, not like Lisa's soft seat in the theatre. Backstage was very busy. Actors were coming and going, changing costumes and getting their props. One actor almost grabbed Corduroy. I should find a safer spot, he decided, and he hid between the costumes. This is safe, he thought. But I'll never see anything from here. There was a tree with a basket in its branches in the wing, off to one side of the stage. I would be able to see from there, Corduroy thought, and he climbed up the tree and into the basket. Well, thought Corduroy, this is more like it. Not too high, not too low. This is just right. He settled in and watched the Mother Goose performance. I love the theatre, said Corduroy. After a number of different scenes, the stage manager called out, final scene, everyone. Take your places. Stagehands quickly moved new scenery onto the stage while the actors went to stand in position. Suddenly, Corduroy's tree began moving right onto the stage. Then it started to grow. Up, up, up went the tree, the basket, and Corduroy. This is a very tall tree, said Corduroy as he looked down at the stage far below. The tall tree made him think of the tall man who sat in front of Lisa. Corduroy wondered, how will I get back to Lisa if I'm up in this tree? On the stage below, Mother Goose started to sing, Rockabye Baby, on the treetop, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Off stage, a fan blew air into the branches of the tree. The cradle began to rock, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, and up and down. Cordero was getting dizzy. He held onto the sides of the cradle as it rocked faster and faster. Mother Goose kept singing, when the bow breaks the cradle will fall. And crack, the bow did break. And down will come baby cradle and all. Down, down, down came Cordero. Cradle and all. Before Cordero knew what was happening, Mother Goose scooped him up for the curtain call. The audience clapped as the actors bowed. Cordero bowed, too. After the curtain call, the cast took Cordero backstage to the dressing room. Who does this bear belong to, they wondered. The usher brought Lisa backstage. Corduroy, there you are, said Lisa. How did you get on stage? I couldn't see, and I wanted to get a little closer, said Corduroy. Oh, Corduroy, said Lisa, you certainly got closer. The very next day Lisa made a theatre just for Corduroy. He could see everything from a nice, safe spot. The end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new content. We plan to bring one new book every day.